Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech, and I wanted to show you how to factory unlock your iPhone. One of the first things I did as soon as I got my iPhone 5 is I factory unlocked my iPhone 4S. Well, it took about a week or so, but I was able to do it. Now the 4S uh, comes factory locked, usually, depending on which carrier you got it from. In my case, it was AT&T. And so what you first need to do is be out of a contract on your phone. So you could have received that phone from a friend, a parent, a uh, brother, sister, whoever, you might have it and maybe you want to use it on a different carrier. Well, the 4S has an antenna that kind of works around the world and will let you use it on many carriers as long as it's not locked to a carrier or locked to AT&T, Verizon, or whoever your carrier might be. What you need to do is go onto your iPhone, go to settings, go to general and then to about under about you'll see your IMEI number and that will be needed to give to your carrier in order for them to unlock the phone. Now, once you've done that, you can submit that on att.com slash device unlock as long as you have the account with them and you can do it that way. Now, if you have Verizon, you'll have to give them a call or Sprint or another carrier outside of the United States. You'll need to give them a call. And what they can do is submit that number to Apple. Once they've submitted that number to Apple, it will allow you to unlock your device, as I'm going to show you in a moment. Once your device is unlocked, you'll be able to use it around the world on just about any carrier, depending if it's an iPhone 4, 4S, or even an older iPhone. So let me go ahead and show you exactly how to do that once they've submitted that information. You want to make sure your phone has been backed up before you do this or you're on your new phone as it will wipe this phone that you're going to unlock. Open iTunes, click on your phone on the left, click restore, and then click continue either with a backup or without, and then click restore. It will warn you again, click continue, and it will begin the process of restoring. If you already have the software, iOS 6 in this case, it will take some time to verify it and then just load it onto the phone. If you don't already have it, it will take some time, even longer actually, because it needs to download that. Once it downloads it, it restarts the phone and it reinstalls the software. Now I've sped this up quite a bit so you can kind of see what the process is without having to wait the entire time. Once your iPhone restores, it will come back up connected in iTunes and say, congratulations, your iPhone has been unlocked. You can continue, you can either restore your backup, or you can sell it off or whatever you're planning to do with it, and it should be all set. If you have any questions, please place them in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.